The other news breaking this morning, an eye-opening new headline involving President Trump. After that phone call with Russian President Vladimir Putin congratulating him on his re-election in Russia. Well, now the Washington Post is reporting that the president's own national security advisors warned him ahead of time not to congratulate Putin, even writing in all caps, using note cards. Let's get to our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vegas. She's got much more on this. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, David, good morning to you. It's not just what President Trump said during that phone call with Vladimir Putin. It is also what he did not say that has some in his own party angry this morning. The Oval Office announcement that sparked backlash in Washington. I had a uh, call with President Putin and congratulated him on the victory, his electoral victory. We had a very good call. This morning, raising even more questions. The Washington Post reporting that President Trump's national security team warned him not to congratulate Vladimir Putin for his election win during that phone call, explicitly writing in capital letters on his briefing papers, do not congratulate. But that is exactly what he did. The president also announcing he will soon sit down for a face-to-face -face with the Russian leader. And that did not go over well with Senator John McCain. He said, quote, an American president does not lead the free world by congratulating dictators on winning sham elections. What did not come up in that phone call? The president reportedly ignoring talking points instructing him to condemn Russia's apparent role in the UK poison attack on a former Russian spy and his daughter. And also, no mention of the other elephant in the room. Did the president not raise the issue of Russian election meddling in that phone call? Uh, I don't believe it came up on this specific call. This as the president ramps up his attacks on special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into possible ties between Moscow and Team Trump. President Trump ignored our questions. Do you want Robert Mueller fired, Mr. President? Thank you very much. And the Kremlin is saying this morning that the president has ordered his new secretary of state nominee, Mike Pompeo, to set up this meeting between him and Vladimir Putin. Robin. All right, Cecilia, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.